Did you notice? Many allude, but did you notice? Do you really know who this is? Hmm. Let's find out. This one is the house ones you want to go to the club afterwards, right? Okay, cool. So, Superhead is with me, you know what I'm saying? Karen, Karen is with me, you know what I'm saying? What else? Superhead. Yeah, so she takes me, she, you know, she probably calls me outside. He's like, hey, man, you know, the, um, that, that girl you, you know about the girl you I was like, yeah, nigga, I don't care right now, but you know what I'm saying? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? He's like, uh, you know, that's the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what you mean that's the devil? The devil got a pretty mouth. Yeah, I was like, what you mean that's the devil? You know, and then he's like, yeah, man, she, she videotaped you with fingers in the boot. That's a new movie. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what? The like, penis. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? We rewind, rewind. I had a penis and a finger in the yeah. boot. Like, what? She said, he, he, he so told puppy tells you he she. Goes, she would videotape you with fingers in the boot. And I was wow. like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, what, what does, does that saying? mean? Confession. So then, so then I go back in the house and I ask her, what the fuck are you talking about? He said, you're a filmer. No, I, I did ask him. He's just like, whatever. He, he went off and did his thing. And I was, was like, he okay. limping? <laughs> <laughs> he walked away and the nail fell out of his boot. No, I'm going to clear this shit up. Because I'm, I'm not going to have my name. I ain't going to have my name out there crazy like that. Go ahead, go ahead. So then, so then, so then he said, so then she said, uh, I told him what she, he told me. And she was like, oh, she started laughing like a mother. I'll tell you later. So then, so then I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to make the big deal of it, whatever. So, so then he's you no. Know, then, then I guess he's had some prior incident with her that he don't want nobody to know about. You know what I'm saying? So we get into the truck. He said, "Let's go to this club." So everybody following the, truck, the, the car. The car is fucking silent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we get to this club and then we walk in the back, the way back way. It's a VIP lounge. Ain't nobody in there. And then you know the club is going. It's all jumping. And then I'm sitting there with with old girl. So, I, so, so then, so then, so then uh, you know, he, he's doing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, I was sitting there popping to the music. And then he said, she pointed over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then there's girls in the club, too. And then she pointed another direction. It's another dude over there, like, butt-ass naked. Dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we take off, man. You know what I'm saying? We leave the club so directly. Saying, I didn't say peace to nobody. So I didn't see nobody. Gay. Yeah, it was it was Blood suspect. Mail, a lot of lot, lot, lot of suspect. Changes. The club you could chalk it up. You could chalk it up to being in Miami or whatever. I I, I, I've been in a gang. I've been in a gang of clubs, man. The club was called. And I, ain't, I ain't never. I ain't never mistakenly stepped into a club having that kind of activity. I want to talk about. You want people to know about. Oh. I don't know if the story that I have about P. Diddy is a thing. Oh, I love, I love it. You, you think it's something to We us? didn't talk about it on the show, but you told us off the show. Should I just tell you? Yeah. I mean, I'd love to. I mean, listen, this isn't alleged because you it happened. No, no, no. no there's nothing alleged about this. Okay. It is alleged. Clap, 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 We are comedians. All right. Go for it. We're so lonely. So... I'm fucking gone. I went to a party on Star Island in Miami uh, where P. Diddy has a private residence. I mm -hmm. had no business being there. Mm -hmm. I was with a famed uh, house producer who was DJing the party. Sure. And I will keep his name out of it. Yep. And I took a whole bunch of ecstasy because everyone there was taking ecstasy. It was basically me and like beautiful like ethnic models. Mm -hmm. Like just beautiful women who I obviously had no interest in because like, yeah. the, like, the big pimpin' video. That's not my type. Right. <laughs> we're gonna stick to Peppa, please. Yeah, we're gonna stick to Peppa <laughs> and, and ghouls from Us Weekly. <laughs> right, right. Um, so I'm, I'm like kind of stumbling around. It's like you know, it's all like you know, my man is telling me that like you know, every third person is some executive. Mm -hmm. You know, got behind the scenes guys who I don't recognize. It's a high end crowd, very high end, and okay. there's no joke. There's maybe a hundred people. Okay. I mean, it is intimate. It's a serious. I have serious no business being there. Sure. I'm in like a you know, like an old Jewish grandmother's windbreaker, like <laughs> I am now. Right. Okay. This exact moment right. and um so long story short i am on ecstasy and i'm trying to find the bathroom mm -hmm. and i can't find the bathroom and, and i just kind of like go down a flight of stairs and now i'm in like the inner windings of the mansion because yeah. most of it's going down by the pool okay. you know cabanas and stuff dragon's lair yeah, 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 yeah we're getting serious so i get lost yeah. and i'm in like just a maze of rooms yeah. now i'm looking for the bathroom i Start opening doors. One's like a closet. One's a room. It doesn't have a bathroom in it. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, every room should have a bathroom in it. Too. That makes sense. First of all, if you're in this fucking every dungeon, room yeah, have, right. every house. So I open yeah. a door, and in that room, there are a bunch of men, mm -hmm. and they're all kind of like very like Romanesque, like laying about. And 
and, you know, kind of, like, very, like, kind of leaning on each other, not really spooning, but, like, conversationally spooning, like, if you were spooning, but facing each other, and, like, leaning up on your elbow and like, talking. Like, how about this, like, in public, watching TV with a bunch of your friends, and you're with your girlfriends. Right, yes. It would be, like, those guys kind of lounging on their girlfriends, but they're not fucking, because that no, would be weird in public, fucking, right? Like, you almost think that they should be feeding each other grapes, huh. you know, stuff like that. Okay. Like, it was very, like, regal lounging. Very erotic. Okay. All right. Heavy erotic. Yeah, like uh, like the drawings you would see of like old Greek. Yes, uh, right. hangouts. exactly. Yeah, I or, like a, or like a fat Greek woman like laid on her side. Yeah, yeah. it would almost be the prelude to an orgy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh okay. my god. It was so prelude okay. to an orgy. So so so, I, so I look. So I have. I'm there for a very brief amount of time because I open the door and clearly I'm not supposed to be in there. And I look, and who is lounging in my direct eye line? Puff Daddy and Felix the house cat. Famed house music producer. Yeah, no, I know are that is. basically spooning each other. <laughs> I swear to God, they're basically spooning and they're drinking a glass of Hennessy and they're like sharing it. They're like passing it back and forth. And everyone's talking. And everyone's just like talking. Yeah. And then as soon as I see them, I'm like, all men though. There's not all one men in this room. All men. And yeah. they're all 100 percent on ecstasy. Like you could see Diddy's in like white linen, being like, oh my oh, god, man. like rub eyes on my nipples. Right. You know, like <laughs> oh, you're one of my best friends. Right. So the minute I make eye contact with them, like a gigantic bouncer comes over and says, like, "Get the fuck out." Yeah, 2017. Did you think that niggas would really be wearing dresses and bees in their hair and all that shit? <laughs> No way, no, listen, no way, shape, or form, like, it was like, he don't just sound like us, he's got to acknowledge himself, that's what I'm saying, like, I tell people, like, music now, what they did was, they, they, they flipped it on us, they made, they turned music into crack, so what crack did in the 80s was, like, it made a lot of people rich, but the damage it did is far more greater. So what they doing with music now is like, man, yeah, crack in the eighties. We yeah. gonna fuck up their whole generations Generation to come up. because we gonna dumb them down with hair. It's gonna make them feel good now, and it's gonna make it's gonna make a few of y'all. It's gonna make a few of y'all rich. A but few the majority of y'all, of y'all gonna be but fucked up. It's gonna fuck up your generation. So that's what it is. It's crack in the eighties. You know what I mean? And it's like none of them is really, like ain't nobody really standing up for it. Like if that's what I'm saying. What in, in, in your opinion? What do we do? Because, you know, I be going on my... We gotta start holding people accountable. That, not only that, and we gotta stop fucking uh, uh, saying that, yeah, fight the power, fight the power. Give me that bag and I'll leave that shit alone. Because that's what I be saying a lot. No, and that's why... Yeah. And if the stylist is like... If the stylist report back and be like, oh, he ready, then they invite you to the party. What's happening? Like, yeah. like, I'm not with it. When they, you know what I mean? Like they, what they do is they. This is what they do. Like, and they know what they do with the artists is easy. They send the stylist at them first. Yeah, yeah. And if the stylist is like, if the stylist report back and be like, "Oh, he ready," then they invite you to the party. And that's when they be like, "Yo, look, when you go in here, it's gonna be some." You know what I mean? It's a, it's a nigga at the door. Okay. Today. Now look, what Al Space is doing to you right now? He's giving you. The game of how these niggas be getting turned the fuck out. In this yeah, shit. like they try to put this tight ass shirt on you. That's what they. Do. And if you wear the shirt, they like, oh, he ready. He he with it. That's you telling them like, yeah, I'm ready. And then next thing you know, you get invited to the party with the greeting is the man squeezing your dick. Whoa! <laughs> I'm telling you, wow. Yeah. And I'm telling them like, yo, something like it's so crazy because I used I always tell them, like my cousins would be like, yo, something like. You that guy, like you? I'm like, bro, I don't want it that bad. So, all right, let's keep it a buck. Did you did you actually see niggas get twisted to the other side? You go to that, yo. You go through that. You go to that party. Like if you ain't turning around, and you see everybody, you you seeing everybody walk through the joint. I mean, the thuggest niggas. You see them walking. You like. And you in the parking lot, like on your way out, like yo, son, that shit crazy. Yeah, you see, like, oh, I know. Yeah, 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 I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, yo, nah, that's just some wild shit. Nah, nah, you know I'm just going to go check it out. That's, <laughs> like, what I'm trying to tell you was, like, we coming down the hill, like, like, yo, like, yo, bro, like, yo, this is facts. Like, for years, like, so my cousins used to be like, yo, like, yo, babe, like, so then what happened was, you know what I mean, my cousin Sherm, you know what I mean, my cousin too far, you know what I mean, like, I mean, he was, Sherm is your cousin? Yeah, she's telling him, I'm telling him, like, yo, he like, yo, he like, yo, big. 
whatever he started. Now, he started doing his, I mean, he started doing, like, you know, mine or whatever. I mean, he was, Macy's everything. He rocking now, you know what I mean? He rocking. He got everything. Macy's, I mean, boom. He about to be, he about to be the next Tyson Bradford. Like, okay. like lined up, like contracts lined up. Boom. The next, matter of fact, they had, he, he had, he had, he had about like, boom, he had a six million dollar contract. You know what I mean? Like, for do the law and orders. Mm. You know what I mean? Boom. Law and orders and all that. So the night before, so the night before that, the day before he was on the contract, they was going to celebrate. Like, yo, Tyson. Come to like, one of them parties. Tyson, I'm like, yo, we're going to go celebrate. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, boom. He gets to the party, whatever. Rocking. So, Tyson, like, yo, you, you ready for them all? Like, it's going to change your life. You know what I mean? But, you like, yo, before we do that, we're going to go in this room. Like, oh. like, he like, this is, you know what I mean? You see, he see everybody going in there. He like, he like, yo, we gonna go in this room, like, you ain't gonna see some, so then he's like, what? So it was like, it was like, like, three or four of them, no, I mean, three or four of the, no, I mean, the, the next top people, whatever. So someone was like, yo, he like, <laughs> left all that shit on the table, he called me, like, he called me, like, yo, I, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yo, what? He like, he like, all this time, like, I was just thinking you was making an excuse. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, making an excuse why you not on top or why, you know what I mean? He said, and when you was telling me that, when you telling me this, because I'm, I'm telling him, you know what I mean? Because that's my family, so I'm giving him the inside track. Like, no, this is how that shit works. And you said, and, and just to clarify for the people, you said Tyson, meaning Tyson Bedford, not Mike Tyson. No, 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 no my, not Mike. My character. Like, people try to say, like, Sauce would be a character. No, like, my name is Derek Watkins. I started working at a job in hip hop. You get a nickname, just like his name ain't Buster Rhymes. Who gave you the nickname? Uh, Tony De Niro. Uh, actually, Puff's boy so did. De Niro's right there. He fell out laughing, and I was like, "Yo, please don't let that be my nickname." He's like, "No, no, no, we ain't gonna do that." Oh, like okay. No, so he's back there. We didn't see him most of the ride. He back there with whatever thing he hitting off for twenty two hours, right? Mm -hmm. So it's producers, writers, like folks that I now know is like Loon. Uh, like a lot of different writers and, and producers, Mike. So folks are writing the tracks. I would literally walk up to Puff and you know, and I'd be like, "You want to do this? But you can't do this and walk off. Well, about my clothes <laughs> because it's like, because <laughs> <it's like, laughs> <it's like, laughs> <laughs> so he walked in. He walked straight to my table. I stood up and it was like a little stare down match on some like, wow, and I won. And then he just pointed the old girl like, yo, get his dudes the two ways then. Remember the two ways? Anybody with me? Two ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah two ways. Stay mm -hmm. with me. He's like, yo, it was, you know, you get his dude my two-way number. Well, I didn't call him the next day because I'm busy. Yeah, what a well, game. I wasn't busy. <laughs> Line, I'm climbing, I'm shining. Reminding you who the fuck the 